Hi, my name is David Lee, founder and owner of Vital Health. I would like to talk to you about a unique course that I have developed to teach any health fitness professional who wants to have a full health assessment that will cover most of the important aspects of their client's health before that client starts in their program or services. Over the past number of years, I have put together a health assessment consisting of a health consult sheet, food consumption analysis called the food score sheet, hormone levels assessment sheet, and a bioscan test which produces around a 40 page test results of the main systems of the body and organs in actual measurable readings. My course will teach you how to carry out this full health assessment with your clients. It takes about an hour or more for the full assessment and you can charge for this session because your clients will see a lot of value in it. It will bring about greater client retention in your health business and give your clients concrete proof of where they are at in their health state. You will also be able to use this assessment to monitor your clients' progress in your programs. This means you can have reoccurring assessments every so many months using this Bioscan device to see if they have improved or not in certain areas of their health. This also means reoccurring revenue. The health consult is a sheet that covers your client's health history, their age, weight, height, what they are looking for, activity level, etc. The second assessment tool is my food score sheet, which your clients can fill out where they write out what they usually eat and drink on a given day. Then you will measure and look at the healthy and unhealthy components of their diet and give them a score. The third assessment is the hormone level score sheet. They will fill this out so you can see which hormone level is high, low or normal. Then the final assessment is the BioScan using this device which scans the body with around 60,000 waves and measures the corresponding electromagnetic waves of each cell of the body. Hence, if an organ or certain system of the body is diseased or not doing well, the device will interpret that and give a score of normal, mildly abnormal, weak or severe in the test results. The BioScan device does this in one minute and it produces around 40 pages of the tested results record, which you can save on your PC and also email to your clients for their records. You will get readings on the digestive, endocrine, cardiovascular, hormones, bone density, trace mineral levels, vitamin levels, amino acid levels, and etc. This technology has been around for a while and people like Dr. Jernigan of the Hansa Center in Kansas and Dr. David Jowdy have been major educators of using such a device for assessing clients. In fact, Dr. Jernigan was one of the people who helped develop this technology. You can go on youtube.com and look up Dr. Jernigan Quantum Resonance and you will find a video presented by him of the technology as well as Dr. David Jowdy. This technology has been around for the past number of years. Countries like Russia have been doing this as part of their medical system for many years. It's about 70% accurate. The device is small, portable, and you can carry it anywhere. As long as you have a laptop, you can do the assessments anywhere. So let's see how this BioScan assessment works. As I said before, um, here's my health consult sheet that I use and the food score sheet and uh, that I use and our hormonal intake or hormonal level sheet that um, is when my client here who has graciously um, showed up to do this video with me will be filling out and uh, so he's already done this with me so I just want to show you what the assessments consists of and of course the main uh, assessment which is my BioScan um, setup. So as you can see it's set up with a laptop, the device and the device is connected with uh, two cords which is the electro cord here and which Zuin will be holding in a minute and the USB cord and also it has a USB stick that has um, most of the program that's communicating with the main desktop program. So this is basically it for this whole system. It's software driven. So we've entered the information to do the BioScan for Zuin. And if you can see, um, we've entered in his name, his sex, his birth date, 
his height, and his weight. In kilograms, his height, and centimeters. That's all you need to run this program. And then I'm gonna save the information. And now we're ready to go into test mode. I go up to the top menu and I hit test mode. And then near the bottom, we have the start button and we're ready to start. Zuin, can you do the honors please? And you can hold onto the electrode, just relax, okay? Uh, make sure that there's no cell phones in the pocket. Any keys in the pocket, Zuin? Yeah, so please take all keys. So make sure you ask your client to take all rings, cell phones, keys, anything that could be conductive, you know, could be used as a conductor, right? It may affect the frequencies as well. So just relax the arm and the electrode or the probe has to be held in an upright manner. This is gonna take roughly about 59 seconds and the scanning will begin. And you can hear the beep. I have the volume a little bit higher because I want you to just hear the beeping. And this is the magnetic waves and the device going through the various organ systems of the body, reading the body. Sometimes your clients will feel a little tingle. They'll actually feel the frequency. It's very low level current. Um, doesn't hurt you. But some, some of my clients do actually feel it. And as you can see, uh, you'll see they put a model of an actual body going around in circles. And it's also showing a picture of the various parts of Zuen's body that it is assessing for those few seconds. So now we're in the heart lymphatic system. Now we're going into his brain. Okay. Finished. It's always important to save the file. So now we have to get the report from the testing. I usually wait until I get the report before I tell the client to let go of the probe. Okay, you can let go of the probes when, thank you. Then, as you can see, It shows like a bar graph that shows up as well as the various levels. So, as you can see, we're looking at the cardiovascular system on this first reading. And the cardiovascular system, um, they have these green bars in the center, which means they're normal, there's nothing to worry about. Then the dark blue bars is mildly abnormal, that's also okay. What I'm mainly looking for is where the readings are deficient or excess in the yellow bars or red. Red represents severe excess or severe deficiency. Yellow means there's definitely a weakness happening. So it's the yellow and red that I'm looking for. In Zwin's case, the myocardial blood perfusion volume um, is a little bit on the deficiency side. Um, his oxygen consumption is a little bit on the higher side. Um, it's not that bad yet. He doesn't have a lot of severe readings. So this is where my BioScan book, because all the results are in medical language for a nutritionist or for any practitioner, it's quite difficult to read. So what I've done is I've worked with a medical student and I've, we've actually come up with this manual where I've reinterpreted all the readings of the scans so that you can look it up yourself. So even my clients are buying these books because it's helpful for them when they get the 40 page readout so they can understand what the readings mean. So that is, um, that is the benefit of having the book as well. So this is, um, this is the scan for the cardiovascular. Um, we can look at the digestive. Got to give it a few seconds before the bar graphs come up. It's come up. You scroll down to the second page showing the gastrointestinal functions. So now you can see 
the different pepsin secretion coefficient, the gastric peristalsis, right? Gastric absorption. So if I was to go to my book, I can actually go to the gastrointestinal section and look at um, what those actual readings mean. So for people that are actually wanting to know, you could get the book, you could get my book, pepsin secretion coefficient. So when the pepsin is on the deficiency side, that means that it indicates a state of too much or not enough uh, the stomach is unable to produce hydrochloric acid. So there isn't enough hydrochloric acid being produced in his digestion right now. Now that could be because this is where you need to have the training. So this is where you need to have some basic physiology and anatomy under your belt to understand some of this. Um, and this is what my course is about. So what you need to realize is he hasn't eaten for a few hours. So therefore he hasn't eaten any protein. Therefore his hydrochloric acid secretions would not be that high. So these are not alarming signs. You have to understand what's going on with the person, how long has it been since he's eaten. So this is why I do all these other assessments. You know, I ask the client, how long has it been since you've eaten? So these are the questions you need to ask your client when you do these assessments. Um, also, you look at his prostolic wave. His prostolic wave is mildly abnormal. There's no issues there. His small intestine absorption is also on the low side. But again, Zuin hasn't eaten for quite a while now. So all the digestive functions would be on the slower side. So that is how you would read this, okay, as a practitioner. So these are just some of the signs. Let's take a look at um, his bone mineral. So you're not going to be looking at all the, uh, all the readings because there's just too many. You would basically look at the readings that pertain to his nutrition and health. Obviously, Zwin is a 27, 28 year old. He doesn't have a lot of severe health issues. He's mainly interested in nutrition and building muscle for his training and to get in shape. So I'm looking at those things that are gonna be, you know, related to those areas. So again, we're looking at bone analysis. So this is the bone mineral analysis. And um, so I'm going down here. Uh, we've got a few high. Calcium loss is getting on the weak side and bone hyperplasia. So that is, in a lot of cases, people have this issue because we usually don't get enough calcium for our bones. That is one of the issues. Our North American diet does not carry enough calcium. So one of the things that I look at is his diet. So that's why I do a food score sheet. So this is where um, these readings are so important to be able to confirm what's happening in his diet as well as his hormone levels, as well as his health consult sheet. So this is basically the health scan and then we will be getting into the other intake sheets as well. So I hope this gives you a good idea of what the BioScan full assessment is like um, in my whole system uh, within the Vital Health uh, program. I like to talk about the course. The course cost includes a new BioScan device and my course book, which you will be able to use as reference every time you do an assessment of your client. You also will receive an ebook version of the course book, which you can download from my website. This whole system of assessing using this BioScan device has revolutionized my practice as a holistic nutritionist in the past number of years. It has increased my revenue from nutrition clients by around 30% or more. It has increased the client retention and really increased the value of assessments from the client's point of view. I have incredible success at trade shows because it still is new and is a quick assessment of potential clients. People will pay for a quick 15 minute bioscan and it will lead to you having greater signups of clients to your services. In the course, I show you how I transition and present my nutritional programs to clients after the assessments and how I sell my packages to them. You will easily be able to present your programs to the client from these assessments. The course cost is $1,800 plus tax, and it includes the $500 device and my course book. There will be assignments and lots of hands-on practical work given during the 12-hour course with a test at the end. You will be certified. 
Also, you can receive follow-up support sessions with me at a reasonable cost after the course if you need help in any way to implement these assessments into your business. I have seen the success that my past students have had with their clients and seeing health professionals become more successful is the goal of this course. I hope you consider taking this course because it will definitely enhance your services to your clients and also increase your revenue. All the best in your journey.